Hello there and welcome back to linuxjobber.com where we prepare you for Linux jobs. My own name is Sean May Joseph and my email is shopopolos at gmail.com who I will be preparing you for Linux jobs. Now for today in this video we are going to be talking about managing um, backups and we're using a software called Bacula. Managing backups with Bacula and we're going to be using the web main um, management console to manage Bacula. So, um, this a, a number of things has happened before this video. So, to fully understand what is happening, you need to go to our website linuxjobber.com and you go to tutorials and you go to our proficiency lecture. And when you get to proficiency lecture, you will click on um, the proficiency lecture and then you will click on the, the lecture notes under lecture notes you click on the first video here if you click on the first video here you see you need to understand the big picture of Bacula how it's laid out after that you then go and see um, the configuration of Bacula that one is a different video and it's inside the number two here and in there you see the configuration of Bacula how it's laid out in this video we're going to be talking about something a little different. We're going to be talking about now that we have looked at the big picture of Bacula, which is what we have here. I've showed you how Bacula fully works. And also we have gone through the configuration of Bacula in the next video. And then in this video now, it's installed. We know how it works. We know everything about Bacula. We just need to know how to manage it using our console here which is a web main, which runs on port 10,000 right here, as you can see, port 10,000. That's what Bacula runs on port 10,000. So, I mean, web main console is running on port 10,000 and it's managing Bacula in the back for us. And I showed how to get to that from the, uh, during the configuration, I showed you how to get to it from the uh, console so now for today we're going to be concerned about how to manage your backup with Bacula so now for you to fully understand what's going on um, a number of things you need to keep out of the way because the the console again it is complicated so this is the entire console here let me make sure you can see it very well this is the entire console here and you need to let me bring it down so you can see the console very well. Um, you need you need to keep some things out of the way so that it looks easy because it's a little uh, difficult to understand. It's intimidating up front. So now there are four sections to this. The section number one is the director configuration. Where is the director? Right here is the director. Right, and I showed you this in the previous video. If you have not watched the video of how everything works, you need to watch that first so that you can understand how everything works. Otherwise, this will not make a lot of sense. Anyway, this is the director, right? And this controls everything, right? So now we need to configure director because that's where the jobs are going to run for Bacula and that's where the clients are going to be specified, okay? So now this is the director configuration, which we have done in, a, in another video. I showed you how to get into the file system and how to manually configure the, the, um, this, the, the all of this, um, all of this individual uh, equipment, all of these individual machines, the, the storage. So we went and configured all of the uh, configurations. So now we need to do a backup job. In here, I will show you what's important, what you need to worry about when you come down to the configuration. Even though we have set it up, we only set up the password in the video that we did during the configuration. We only set up the password. We did not tell it what to back up, when to back up, who to back up, because we did not concern ourselves with that at that time. So at this time now, we will worry about which machines to back up, when to back them up what to back up on them that's what's important all right so don't get confused or intimidated with all of these things we don't need all of these things at least not to get started right i'll tell you what we don't need we don't need 
we don't need many storage daemons because we only have one storage daemon. A storage daemon, as you already know, as I've explained to you, is the file server where you store your backup and the database just stores the index, meaning that this is just metadata, it's information about what we have backed up, when we have backed up, who we have backed up. The information of how to quickly find them is stored in the database, but the actual storage is actually on the file server. On the on the on the file server, which is a storage daemon. So now we only have one storage daemon. So don't let us confuse ourselves. Take this out of the picture as quick as much as you can. For now, again, remove volume pools out of the um, picture. Again, just for us to quickly understand what is going on. Director configuration. We have already done. We have already configured the director. So we're not going to worry so much about that. Take it out of the picture so things are clear. Concern yourself with only four things here. Backup jobs, backup clients, file set, and schedules. Now, what are these things? This is which machine to backup. You need to know which machines you want to backup. So let's say, for instance, in our setup at Linux Java, you have your web server. You have your backup server, you have your file server, you have your development server. Now, we are going to be backing up all of those machines and this is where you specify which machines to back up. So now, I can, I'm going to add a machine to back up. But before I do that, let me return to the module. Before I do that, these are the machines to back up. What do I want to back up on these machines? I need to specify what I want to back up, right? Because the way Backular works, it's not about going to each individual client and telling it what you want to back up on each individual client. It's one what, right? It's all about what. So now let me draw a let me draw something so you can see about what to back up. So what you really care about is, again, let me see what I can use to represent it that it'll make some sense. So now let's call, let's use what color that it makes sense to us. So now this is what to back up right now let me type it up there so you can see it clearly this is what to back up so in this case now i am going to say I, I like to back up my configuration files so go into my etsy and back up everything inside etsy that's what i would like to back up then who we want to back up right so now let's specify who we want to back up this who we're going to specify which machines we want to back up we're going to put them in there the machines we want to back up obviously i would like to back up um, joe pc and i'd like to back up show pc right this is who we want to back up let me use caps just to stay in conformation in conformance with the other one um now when we want to back up this is also very very important when we want to back up notice that this all of this what we have drawn before is not tied in it's not tied in with who what and when so we worry about when later we worry about who later and we worry about so let me click on this and say when we want to back up and then you can specify weekly you can specify monthly or however you want and then once you are done with this now you can start to go here and tie this to this machine here and you can tie it to this machine if you want what 
or I typed in I typed this in wrong. Let me clean it out. This is who, not what. Um, so this is who, not what. So who we want to back up. We take that all of that and we put it in here, and then when we want to back them up, and then the what is going to is what specifies what to back up. As you can see, all of this is not tight. It is manually when we set up all of this, who, when, and what. Then we then we put the machines that we want these things to apply to in the who plan. All right, so now let's go back to the configuration file. Now let's go back to the setup. So the file set tells us what to back up. What to back up on here. So I have showed you who we want to back up, what to back up, when to back up, when to back up, and then backup job is what runs everything so let me show you the backup jobs backup jobs is what ties everything together and it runs the job so i'm going to start my configuration from backup schedules when to backup add a new backup module right and i'm going to call this friday night and again this is just examples you can um specify what you want to back up on our system, um, if you look through it, under the lecture notes, I have showed you um, the difference between all of these. You need to understand full, incremental, or differential. You need to know what you're doing because if not, um, there can be consequences to it when, you, when you're ready to restore. And then you pick when you want it to run, right? So now I want this thing to run um, all, every month dates um i it doesn't matter what date i just want it to run on friday night on friday nights um do i want it to run it doesn't matter what whether it's first second third fourth or fifth friday of the month i just want to run at friday at 11 p.m right 2300 hours so this is um at 11 p.m so this is when i want my backup job to run i say okay so now the volume we're picking the default like i said don't worry about this for now uh, some things we're just going to leave for later so this is you create friday night backup right this so here's my friday night backup now so you see that i you see where i started from i started from the backup schedules right now what do i want to back up right i had a new backup file set what would i like to back up I like to back up my config files, configuration files, which is always in slash Etsy, right? So I now say, give me slash Etsy. And you can put as many as you want in here. You can keep on saying, you know, I want to back up slash var and want to back up. So you can keep picking. And if you don't, if you don't remember where you want to back up or what exactly you would need to back up on there, you can click on this link here. It will let you navigate to which part of the file of the um of the machine that you want to back up and you just click on which one and it'll come down here for you so now use signature type i don't want to use signature type because i'm just testing files and directories to skip let's just say inside etsy now you want to say i don't want to back up anything inside ntp right then it will skip ntp for you and if you don't remember which one you can always click on here and it will show you You'll be able to navigate and select which ones you don't want to back up now i'm picking default compression compression level you can pick any compression level that you want now limit backup to one file system i'm going to stick with default again just because i'm trying to keep things simple so now i have worried about what to back up when to back up what to back up so next i will worry about who to back up I, only, I actually just have one client because um again this is my this is our machine and every i'm running all three setups on this one machine dev right 
so if you have different machines to back up you can keep on specifying clients so here are the clients joe pc show pc and more, many more you can keep specifying them i don't have joe pc and show pc i have a machine called dev and that's the only machine that i'm going to back up and i will show you how i'm going to do that so client file daemon name right so i'm going to say dev and then the backup password which i have showed you before how am i going to get to how is the uh, director going to get to this file daemon what password is it going to use and that's what i've just showed you here host name or ip address right so i can put host name here but here i'm going to put ip address but you can just put host name which is dev right but i'm going to put ip address 192.168.1.1 89 and then the catalog to use i only have one catalog set up in my um director daemon so if, if i can show you that later where that is found and the backup port for this for the machine that i'm backing up i have opened up this port in the configuration i showed you how to do this and then keep backup files for 30 days right if you don't keep backup files for um for 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 if you keep backup files too long then it will it will fill up your system so you can prune expired jobs right this is where a lot of people get problems i will explain that in a different video but just for now just click yes otherwise you will get problems and you will not like it keep backup jobs for six months right okay so now do we want to use encryption again i'm just testing so i'm not going to use encryption if you want all you just have to do is click yes verify or if you want you can just click yes i will not worry about all of this because i don't need them then i will create who to back up right so now i have who to back up and all of your clients that you're backing up will be listed down here if you want to do so so now i return to the module then the last thing here is backup jobs right as you can see again that it's because that's what's important who to back up what to back up when to back up to, when to back them up now the backup type it's always going to be either you're doing a backup or you're doing a restore it's a job type your job is always going to be either you're doing a backup or you're doing a restore so add a new backup job which is the one job let's call it job for no no friday night job friday night job backup job enabled yes then the default type um so i, I leave i leave everything default job type is a backup again it's always going to be either a backup or restore you wouldn't worry so much about the rest of them so this is a backup client to backup always remember you have to pick the client to backup um incremental i forgot which one i picked up but you need to look at our system and know the difference between all of this now i pick incremental now file set to backup this is the what to backup right so you back up the entire full set but for me i picked up i set up i set up a what which is the config which is the etsy and then this will tell you what to back up pretty much this is what we need we uh, back up on scale okay this is important use friday night schedule right all of the things that we set up that's why i started from schedule i started in that order that i started up so that um i can put all of the definitions in here so now destination storage file okay standard for messages right okay volume pool i told i said not to worry about this for now backup priority so you don't worry about all the rest of it so now we do create and now we're going to go there and test our backup job to make sure that we have done a good job so now i will go back here and i will say 
run backup job so when i say run backup job again there are four parts to this configuration and you start out with the director now we have already configured storage demo we wouldn't worry about it we have already configured file demo we wouldn't worry about it so this is the backup and restore actions that's all we care about and they are similar so we are only concerned about backup right now if you wanted to do restore it will ju you just have to do go to restore over here so for now i'm going to run backup job because i have specified um what to do so job to run right friday night job remember that i put in that i set up that friday night job as a job and now we say backup now wait for results yes yes so now we say for it to backup and now as you can see it's doing our backup right so no prior full backup job found right using device file storage i think this i should have set this to be backup so we have to go there and modify this later on the we have to modify it in the job in the friday night job to use um to use to store in backup so now it's doing a backup i'm going to pause the video and i'll show you the results when it's done oh okay it's not a mistake it's it's correct so is a uh, storage it's a file storage as i guess this is just a general type and then the backup is uh slash backup is what we configured when we did the configuration and for it to back up so let it just continue i will post the video now and i will let you know, see the result when it's all done so as you can see the job is started and the friday night job has started but it is waiting it cannot find an appendable let me bring this so you can see it it cannot find an appendable volume right an appendable volume please use the label command to create a new volume for this information here so it's a default pool media type is file and it's backup so what i will do is that i'll go to the file system and i will clear the screen and i will do the i will do what it says to do so i uh, went there and i put in the b console command because remember we installed b console so i put the b console command to enter back your console the command line console right so once we enter the uh, command line console you it says to um use the command label right please use the label command right so what i did was that i entered label right here right so this printed automatically it gave me a prompt i typed in label and it says automatically selected uh my catalog which is what we used using catalog my catalog if you remember i talked about my catalog that was what we used and then automatically selected storage so it selected storage file which is down here file enter new volume name um again this is a um a default volume i'm just testing so i'm going to call it friday night volume uh friday night volume right so i hit this so um let's pick a pool it says i'm going to pick default pool right and it says connecting to the storage daemon so it creates a volume automatically right requesting to mount file storage okay mount requested device type okay so now um that it's at that level now you can see that it is still waiting so let's see what it is doing so i'm going to type messages to see what it is doing it says you have no messages um so if you say that i have no messages i will say auto display on right 
and then messages so I have no messages yet and I will wait until it's done doing what it's doing and it, I will pause the video on it until it's done and it will give me messages and I will display it to you so after creating the label um, it looked like the uh, system did not continue running so I refreshed my screen to start all over and what I'm going to do right now is start all over so um, let me create a uh, return to the module I have we have created backup jobs I'm just going to run a backup job like we we're going to do before but because we didn't create a label um, it gave us a problem um, so we, uh, we went and created a label and now what I'm going to do is select let me select my backup Friday night job and I will do a backup now and we'll see okay so here so this is what you get it runs right and you see all of the information that you need all right so backup okay this is what you want to see backup okay file demon storage demon everything is okay that's what you want to see and all of the information of the backup that you need is up in here for you so now let's check and make sure that um, it's actually created if we do an ls of the backup directory as you can see friday night volume has been created so now all we just have to do is do a restore if we wanted to thank you very much for watching this video i have taken you through the um how bacula works i've taken you through the installation of bacula and configuration of bacula and now we have tested a backup so thank you very much for watching this video um, if you have any questions like i said before my own name is sean me joseph and my email is shopopulous at gmail.com so if you have any questions please feel free to send them to me thank you very much you have a nice day